All right, welcome to my first M12 draft. It's been way too long. I tried to do like two initially, and they turned out being horribly boring and disappointing, and some weird shit happened, and I just lost for no reason or something. I don't remember. For whatever reason, I didn't even bother to post them. Um, but then I've, I've had quite a bit of success with the format. Um, but of course, whenever I try to draft, that's when I do shitty, and whenever I don't, that's when I do well, usually. Um, I'm going back to fucking 4322 because why the fuck not? I'm sick of not getting anything when I win one match. Uh, maybe I'm a noob, but kind of like that. Um, and let's see what else. I actually top aided Star City Game Seattle draft open number one like a month ago. Um, I don't think I've recorded since then. Um, and that was M12 M12, so I can't be that bad. Although I just said M12 M12. There's only two packs, two pack draft. And it actually was just me. I didn't even... And I top aided. I didn't even get first. But, uh... No, I just cracked open two packs. Kind of while everyone was, you know, doing their little competitive thing. I just sort of... Just opened two packs. But I top aided. That's the point. That's what I'm trying to say. So, I'm not all bad. Yeah, I think everyone said everything they need to say. In case you haven't watched a million draft videos like I have. M12 is really fast, obviously. Um... It's pretty much aggro or nothing. It really is. I don't know... There's not a whole lot of control that you can do that that's that good because it's just there's so many, so many good little creatures and stuff. I love white blue. That's what I like. Bl um, black red bloodthirst obviously is good, but a lot of people draft that. So really, I just see what's open. Usually, what happens is I get some badass like green creature because there's like there's there's some good green cards, but then when you try to make a green deck, it blows usually. Like unless you do it just right. So that's where I usually get stuck with. I open overrun I want to take it but I I'm pretty close to not drafting overrun like if it's a first pick overrun and there's anything else good I'm gonna take anything else good because like it's just been green just sucks like it's hard I don't know okay I think I've talked long enough I haven't opened a, a mythic in a really long time come on oh that's that's certainly a mythic <laughs> and here we go I guess I'll be stuck taking the uh the green the green card there this one's badass if they don't destroy it it's just Unbelievable. Um, obviously, Outrage is good. This is not that great of a pack, though. I mean, Shock or Outrage. I'm not sh I actually almost am biased towards Shock first pack because it's less of a color commitment. I love Frost Breath, love Ice Cage. That's kind of, well, no, I don't love Ice Cage. Ice Cage is okay. I love Frost Breath and a good. I'd, I'd actually rather be here. I'm this close to taking this fucking card. That's how good white aggro is um but i don't know i mean it's hard not to take my bomb mythic here it's it's a really good card but fucking green really am i gonna go into green fuck it green sucks i was just talking about it Nah, that's a pretty good card though <laughs> can't really splash it i it's really it'd be between the vanguard well i don't know uh, no nah, i'll go with my bomb we'll see how it goes all right, I'll probably not even play that, because, let's see. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll be taking Penavis here. Penavis is a fucking bomb. Whenever you cast this and it survives for a turn, it's badass. I've actually had these same two cards in a draft before. All right, Acidic Slime. Giant Spider is great. Um, and actually, this one, hopefully I can table... Well, I'm not going to table it, but... I don't want one this early, but that thing can be a blowout. Someone, someone attacked me with a... Um, a crumbling Colossus with this fucking card and drew seven cards. It was like, oh my god, that was a good, that was a good play. Get on you. Between Acidic Slime and Giant Spider, I actually kind of think Giant Spider's better just because it's usually not, I mean, usually land destruction in limited is not great and the flyers are killer. Um, so this might seem weird and let me know if you think this is wrong, but I think I'll be taking the Giant Spider. Uh, got no no problem with Arachnus Web. I really want that the Arachnus Spider, whatever it's called, the spinner, the thing that shoots these webs is so good. Um, Scepter's great, obviously. Tunnelers, not not that great of a great in Bloodthirst. I mean, not not good for me. I it's not that great of a pack. Um, well, nothing green, no green options. So, what's the most likely scenario? Green white is awful. Um, but Griffin Riders are certainly good. I'm tempted. 
I think green red is okay. I'm tempted to take the death mark because it's such a good sideboard card and black green is fine. It's pretty much for me between these two and this this takes a lot to get going and to have it go well and I doubt I'll get it. I think I'm going to take this. Well, nothing going on here. Well, I could have had another one of those, unfortunately. Uh, oh, well. Titanic growth might be playable for, for me. Depends on what we're doing. Between these two... Well, actually, this is the card I like the best out of, out of these cards. Well, eh, reverberates. Meh. War paint's okay. Um, well, Dark Favor is definitely playable if I wanted to go into black, but I have perfectly good green options. This guy is a really... A really good blocker. Um, I suppose he's a little harder to cast, but green blue is that any good? Mm. Fuck green. God, I always get dragged into drafting it. Um, take the basilisk. I think the fleet wing might have been a little better. Uh, Rune claw bear, good aggro creature. Uh, well, I think I'm more likely to go red if I get some good, if I get like an incinerate or something. I already have the arachnus web. Mm. Yeah, I might, I could, could be going red. Ah, I tabled or something. Did. Ooh, I would have loved that with the, uh, I love that combo with the dark favor, but I'm going to, I want to try this card. I've gotten blown out by it a couple times. You know what? I really would have wanted that land, too, for Penavis. Hopefully I can get another one of those. The land that gives you back an artifact, because it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty much a freebie when you have a badass artifact. All right. Well, I got stuck in green like I was just talking about how I didn't want to do. And it will probably blow, but uh, maybe if I can get... I'm still open color-wise, which is actually something I did set out to do. Um... I feel like a lot of times I get committed to two colors really early and it hurts me, but now I'm committed to one shitty color, so that's surely better, right? So, I mean, if I open any bomb, I'll just go into that color pretty much. Like, say, a quick silver amulet. Ooh, Sarah Angel. Mm. I don't want to be green white, I really don't, but it's possible I should have picked up those. Um, white, what the fucks, uh, Griffin Riders. Quicksilver Amulet, no one gives that card any respect, but I don't see why not. Like, just pooping of Penavis out onto the battlefield, turn five, I guess, or whatever. Like, nothing wrong with that. I don't know, is it too slow? Why don't people like that? I don't know. I think this would have to be far and away the best card in the pack, and I think it's worth taking it because I don't see anything else that I would immediately want. So I could go into white if it looks open. Or I could go into black for the best removal. Um, it's a little scary. It's I have a few more playable red cards, so it's tempting to take... Actually, Mana Barbera is pretty cool, too. <laughs> Mana Barbs. Um, nothing beats this fucking card, though. Uh, ugh. I mean, if I want to go into white, the Pegasus is there, too. These are all good options. I'm not... I think I like green-black... Better? Uh, I, I, I want to be able to play this. This sucks. Um, really want that Doom Blade. Think, think, think. Green-white, though. Fucking green-white. Sucks. Well, I'm going to take this. If I miss out on a Pegasus, I miss out on a Pegasus. But if there's black, if there are black cards that I want, oh, now I want these blue cards. Oh, well, nothing wrong with another giant spider. This one's good, good worth a couple tickets, I think. But uh, I think nothing wrong with a giant spider here. Um. Well, I could try to go into black since I took that Doom Blade. 
Ugh, I, maybe I shouldn't have scrambled my thoughts so much and committed to colors. It just fucking green-white sucks. I don't know. Could I win with a green-white deck? I'm not really... White is actually more aggro, except for, say, my Sarah Angel that I have. And I do have bombs, so I, I'm not necessarily aggro. You know, in spiders, it's not really aggro. I might want to be more control. Love one of these. Oh, for fuck's sake. Can't decide between, like, 18 colors. Um, okay, it's either white or black, let's say. Oh, let's try going to black. I love this card. Mmm, Cudgel Troll. And Chandra's Phoenix. Okay. Would have loved to be in red. Fuck. Mmm. You know what sucks about Cudgel Troll? Yes, you do. Fucking incinerate. Why? Why? They should have just made one exception for Cudgel Troll. Like, target non-Cudgel Troll creature can't regenerate this turn. Um, I really like having Devouring Swarms just to be able to sack stuff for different reasons. Um, or to get that last bit of damage. And it's a flyer. Uh, I mean, if they don't have Incinerate, though, Cudgel Troll is really good, so I should probably stick to my guns. Well, um, I think I want troll hide here. I think I can slap it on one of my bombs, protect it. Um, hmm. So many other color options. Well, f you guys. I'll take this fucking quicksilver amulet assholes. Maybe I can play my Sarah Angel just for the silver <laughs> Quicksilver Amulet combo. Um, did I commit to black? I don't remember. Yeah, sure, whatever. Fuck. I suck at this game. No, I just can't. It's hard to make up my mind. This was a weird one. There are a lot of different options. And that's what... See, when I have other colors, I'm better. It's not so hard. But when I'm fucking green, I don't know what goes well with it. Um... Did I end up with any, uh, just have the, I don't know, I have no, no bloodthirst. Okay, so I don't need that, although, never hurts, I guess. Yeah, whatever, I'll take it. Alright, take another shade. I'll just hate this out, I guess. And cloud bear. Fucking green! Maybe I should have just taken the, uh, what was the other pick I could have made? Oh, Elite Vanguard. Yeah, would I have been happier? I don't know. I'm not sure. Probably would have been, like, black-white or something. White-black. I want to play this card, but I just probably can't. If I open, like, a Gideon, I'm pretty comfortable just switching to white. Or, uh, Sun Titan or whatever. Whatever the White Titan is. You know that one um or if i open a horrible pack except for vampire outcast i'm pretty comfortable uh going into black all right fine with me that was that was a pretty bad pack okay let's hope we don't play that um sideboard that i mean i don't have any bloodthirst so i don't think i need that i probably don't even want the growth Mmm. Mmm. God damn it. Um. I really like reassembling skeletons. And Child of Night is good as well. Tormented Soul would be fine. So we do have a dark favor. But what is second pickable? I, I Probably not that asshole. I think I can get him later. I really like skeletons. Especially if I get a, uh. Uh, swarm or whatever that is that you sack stuff, but is Child of Night better? Might be better. Certainly Incinerate and Pacifism are the two best cards. Uh, but I don't think I want to go back into red because I have two very good black cards. Hmm. 